All right, today is all about audio balancing and making sure the audio sounds right and that there's music. And um, So the first thing I'd like to show you how to do is to change the volume of a certain clip. Um, every clip has in the bottom left-hand corner on iMovie this little gear symbol. And if you click there, you can see there are a bunch of different things. Audio adjustments is one, video adjustments, clip adjustments, precision editor, clip trimmer, all that stuff, cropping and rotation. We're going to be focused on audio adjustments today. Um, so let's listen a little bit. And uh, a lot of times what you're going to discover is that the volume level on different tracks is different. So that uh, one interview, your camera was closer to the person, so it's louder. One interview, your camera was further away, so it's quieter. Um, here, uh, I've adjusted the audio so it's clearly not balanced, so that we can go back in and balance it. Let's just listen. We're up awkward cuts. Like this, if the person has some part of their interview that you want to talk about. So the second part of that audio is very quiet, obviously. Um, so I'm just going to adjust the audio of this clip. I'm going to click on the little gear symbol in the bottom right or left-hand corner, scroll down to audio adjustments, open up that panel, and you'll see what they call an inspector which allows you to change lots of different things properties and we'll play with the video tomorrow but today we're going to just play with the audio so you see up top there's a volume slider um, you can adjust the volume according uh, accordingly to make it sound right um, you can also well and let's let's just do that for right now well okay there's a lot of different things that you can play with say there's a uh, background noise you can click reduce background noise and slide that slider up and it'll try and take out all the annoying wind or staticky sounds uh, which is really nice you can also do custom equalization stuff now don't play with this too much because at some point it starts to sound pretty wacky um, and if a, if a single clips uh, volume is off you can normalize it I'm not sure actually you might be able to normalize uh, multiple clips volume all at once I don't think you can uh, but this is like, if normalized just means make it all the same. So if your clip is loud at one point and soft at another point, you can just click normalize and it'll make it all the same. You still may have to adjust its volume, like up or down, with respect to the other clips, but at least you can uh, just quickly normalize it. All right, so done. Now it should be the same. We're up awkward cuts. Like this, if a person has... All right, so that sounds there. pretty good. So... Uh, then, what if you have a clip of someone talking over a clip of someone else talking? Sometimes you run into this problem. So say I drag this up on top of my clip as B-roll for some reason, and we're going to cut away to this shot. Now, it's going to be two of my voices talking, which is super confusing. You that you want to cut out? Some of the projects are going to be awesome. Uh, That'll be fun to see. All right, so what do you do to deal with that? Well, iMovie provides you with an easy tool. Say we want to hear the top audio, even though this is not what we would want. Say we want to hear the top audio and not the bottom audio. We'll click the gear again, click video adjustments, and then we're going to select ducking, which means that it's going to make the other tracks lower in volume. So let's listen to see, to see what that did. Cut out. I understand that. But some of the projects are going to be awesome, and that'll be fun to see. So that can be a useful thing in certain circumstances. Just play with ducking to understand it. All right, finally, I would like to add music just quickly. Now, I've I've loaded up uh, what's called free play music, which is copyright free music. It's some, some of it's okay. Some of it's pretty cheesy. Uh, but that's the stuff that I would like you to use. Um, so you can use anything that says free play music in the iTunes library. Uh, let's just, I have no idea what this is, so let's just play Soul Fang. Sweet, swanky, I want that. Alright, so all you do is you click and you drag it up on top of your project. Okay, so if you see the green highlighted everywhere, that means it's going to play throughout the entire project. If you just want it to be um, starting at a certain point, you can drag it right there and it'll start. I don't actually want that, I want it to be on top of the entire project. So here we go. All right, we'll play it from the beginning. I can't hear myself. I can't hear myself. So again, on the music you see up there, you can also do audio adjustments. And I'm going to reduce it further than I think maybe I should to around 12%. Say so that's good. Done. Hey, hey, B-roll is one of the most important things that we can add. Now I can clearly hear my voice over the music. So one of the things Honestly, that still might be a little loud. So I'm going to adjust that again. And that's how you add music and balance the audio.